There you go. There you have it. Brighton 1, Liverpool 0. Well, it's Anfield, so Liverpool 0, Brighton 1. And it is what it is. Um, that's the title over for Liverpool. The the hopes of retaining the title this season is just absolutely gone. It's out the window. You know, it's it's not happening. Um, that's it. That's the nail in the coffin. Because now we'll be ten points away from City when they have a game in hand. Because I always just presume that they're going to win it because it's Manchester City for fuck's sake. And yeah, it's it is what it is. Now we're in fourth. We're two points beyond Leicester. Uh, I can't remember any points we have behind United, but I know we're now seven points behind City. City have a game in hand, so we'll be ten points behind if 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 they beat us on Sunday. You know, I'm not feeling too confident going into that game, even though we might have Sadio back. Hopefully, we'll have Allison back. Even though Callagher, I don't think Callagher was, Callagher was bad at all tonight. I thought the Callagher did a very good job. But we'll have Allison back. Hopefully, we'll have Sadio back. Hopefully, Diogo's in contention as well. And then you have possibilities of, of you know the two centre backs starting or at least one of them. It's it's just one that you have to take now. You know, I I like to try and be optimistic, but I just feel that that's it now. That's the title gone for all the title chances gone for Liverpool. I, I think they're out of the race now. I think it's between Leicester, United and Manchester City. And let's be real, City should take that all day long. So it is what it is. As a Liverpool fan it's a it's a bit of a wake up call that Missing Virgil van Dijk is what everyone said it was going to be. Everyone said that without Virgil van Dijk, we wouldn't have won the title. Um, and maybe that's true. It, see, it seems it seems as if it's that way. It seems that it's just the confidence of the team has taken a knock. That winning mentality and the mentality fucking monsters, you know, that, that Jürgen labelled us as, it's just gone. It's out now. Uh, we've lost we've lost the will to win games and the way of winning it. And But congratulations to Brighton. Can't take it away from them. Brilliant performance from them. Yes, the goal was a bit of luck, but you've got to make your own luck. And it is what it is. The boys had lots of time to respond, lots of time to get a goal. There's no excuses. We have to just take our licks. It is what it is. Obviously, still a proud Liverpool support. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. You know, people can go in the comments, ha, ha, ha. I really, really don't care. It's fine. I'm still going to support Liverpool anyway. But it, it's just, it's a shit one to take. It's a shit one to have. It's a shit sandwich to have to eat but we have to we have to we have to take our losses that's just the way in life you know don't watch football if you're going to be a sore loser about it you know unless you know something happens like David Luiz last night and then you know the fiasco in the other game as well it's unless something like that happens feel aggrieved you know go and rant go and rave but if What's the point in watching a team sport and then ranting and raving when your team doesn't perform well? You know, if you deserve to lose, you deserve to lose, whether you're a fan of that team or not. And tonight, Liverpool absolutely did not deserve... Did not? Yeah. Yeah, did not deserve to win. So, it is what it is. It's shit, but ultimately, the 11 men on the pitch today just didn't perform to the standard, apart from Kelleher. Kelleher was decent, so there you go.